Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. Welcome back to Darkwood. Day 10. Finally! Jeez. After what felt like three days, we're finally through day nine. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna go swing by the village and then the cottage if we have time. Uh, nothing left to, to buy from these guys, I don't think. Nothing that I care immensely about. Alright, got pills for healing, got rags for making more bandages, got a torch just in case I need it. And a lantern. Alright. Wait. Yeah, okay, I've got my magazines. Good. And my backup weapon. Alright, I'm armed to the teeth. Let's go. Okay, do I remember to back up my save? Yeah, I think I didn't finish what I did. Oh. Why do you have a man wearing a helmet? His head has been severed. How did I not notice these? Uh, key to the underground? What? Key to Tunnel 21. Uh, someone scratched out the word liar on the helmet's viewfinder. Book covered in mushrooms? Oh, wait, that. Surely that wasn't there before. I would have noticed that. Huh. How peculiar. And yeah, time is no longer on my side. Did I search this place? Where I did. Nope! Ow, fuck. There we go. Oh, a lantern. Alright. More rags. What oh, I forgot. Gasoline. Alright. Nice. Can just barely slip through that. Oh, hi. Yay, yeah, shit. You ain't slick. Giant human spider, apparently. It's like so obviously something hiding there. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it was obvious. Crows. Something must have scared them off from the huge tree crown. Towering over the village. That's not ominous in the slightest. This all, all this mud, I'm worried about it. It could be like poisonous or something, or work. And even if it isn't, it's annoying. Just gonna slowly trudge my way through. And, uh, hi. Oh, it's the doctor. You can. What do you want from me? Want to put me in front of a firing squad for desertion? The doctor snorts ironically, hiding his irritation. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm too close. I can hear her, just as if she was standing beside me. My little... With shaking hands, he reaches for the cigarette butt between his yellow teeth. I'm sure someone's waiting for you too. Bits out the rest of the tobacco. You're chasing a phantom, probably. There's no one here but the dead. Why are you showing this to me? You better tell me how to get there. I've realized something. It came to me when we were walking through the tunnels. You're like a disease. You and your kind. The doctor takes a step back as if he was afraid of me. At the same time, a sinister smile appears on his face. You don't belong to this land. You weren't here when the forest was born. You're a splinter, a foreign body, a vagabond. And them, the forest and everything else here, 
these are the antibodies, even the morons from the village, raging white blood cells in an infected bloodstream. That's the reason you hide from us. No, they're a cancer. A r uh, growth out of control, choking everything else. The doctor is visibly pleased with himself and his theory. His hands are no longer trembling. He produces a hand-rolled cigarette and lights it. Logical, isn't it? Yeah, if you're stupid. <laughs> Let's see. I can't trade anything to him, but I can get... Uh, I can either get an embryo, tape, or weapon parts. I mean... Weapon parts seem a lot more useful than any of those. Embryo could be handy for leveling up, but... Eh. All these skills have been fairly inconsequential. Alright. Alright. I used to come here to treat people. I pulled out kids' milk teeth, delivered babies, and then came the diseases I never even heard of. I was the only doctor in the area. You cut us off from the outside world. First you, then the woods. No help from anyone. Last time I came here was three or four years ago. Then the trees blocked the path. The doctor looks around the area. It's different now. The fields have flooded. Everyone in the village is dead. How much work? Nothing. Yeah. yeah. Some of the flooded areas hide underwater passages. Recently, I fell into this underwater den in the western edge of the swamp. I have no idea where it leads. I'm a shitty diver. I've seen a similar one in the northeastern edge of the swamp. Alright, that must be what the oxygen tanks are for. Or... The oxygen tank refiller thing that I found was for. The figure of the shrine bears the signs of teeth. It's partially eaten. Lovely. Ooh. And is it alcohol? Map! Ooh! Ruins of an old cottage has been marked on the map. It contains a caption of holes. What? Location found. Holes. Alright then. New journal entry. Hole. Holes! I found a map with the word holes on it. It might be worth checking out. Alright! I guess I'll eventually check out those holes then. Okay. Okay, it's too strong to dismantle. It has like no durability left. What? Holes, holes, holes. If I say it anymore, it'll stop sounding like a word. Why? Ooh, wire, yes! I heard him. What? Me? Okay. Good for you, you heard me. Is that a... Is that a trap body, or...? Yeah, it's a trap body, okay. I wasn't sure if it was that, or one of the, uh... Chompers. Knife. Neat. I don't know how useful that's gonna be. Then I have guns. Probably better than throwing a knife. Oh, I have a gun. What is that toy from? Ah, I can open it with a lock. I can make a lockpick, but it's a wooden door. I could just bust it open. Oh, fuck! Alright, I've got the. Uh, I mean, it's probably gonna rot by the time we get home. Yeah. And these uh, mushrooms. Oh, well, like I said. Oh, fuck. 
Oh, my armor broke. That was worth it. Just need two good swings and... Oh. The word thief is in scratch on the floor. Okay, a lot of stuff has been scratched on the floor. Alright, axe blade. I don't really care, but I can sell it. Fire, photo of three boys. I'm gonna scratch out the word thief on the photo. Huh. I'm sure that means something. Well, it means thief, but you know what I mean. Uh. Planks. Eh. Better off just grabbing valuables and selling them for planks. Or, actually, that wasn't even planks, that was ball, actually, you know what I mean. Ah. Why is it, uh, Moki? Oh, because it's invincible, I guess. Wait, is that that black substance from earlier? Uh, this is what I've got. This. Where'd you go? Ah, fuck. Ow, fuck. Aha! He's vulnerable now, I think. But I am always vulnerable, so. Ah! Ah! Fuck! Oh, for. Fucking, there we go. Popping out stuff my hand always annoying. Uh. Whew. Last that guy down, then. Good. Ooh. Not how really useful that is. Pliers, yes. Sickle, do I care? Maybe. I don't know. Do we care about, more about it than a bit of gasoline? I see the crown of a huge tree through a small window under the ceiling. Lottery ticket. Neat. Ooh, valuable. Um, um, do they stack? No, of course they don't. Nothing stacks. The sickle at me, good. Where am I going? Probably just get this if I get Ah, fuck. What is that? Oh, it's like a fire thing. Who are you? Who the fuck are you? Cripple. Wait. Bloody hell. You're alive. 
The old man extends his hand, blindly trying to reach me. You're not from around here, eh? You cannot be, hmm? All them lads are dead. It's only me. Me and... He finally finds my arm and grabs it. For a moment, he clutches my hand in silence. Then I hear him mumbling under his breath. I don't have anything, mate. Only this... This chair, bloody hell. His gaze stops somewhere under the leaky bar and ceiling. What? The old man suddenly jumps up. What are you saying? I feel his long fingernails digging into my hand. Ain't no fucking tree, that! It looks like a tree, but those faces... I know them, buggers. Every single one of them. So close. And so fake. They're not real. They're not! From time to time, I thank God I went blind. I don't have to look at them. Maybe I could just close her eyes. Uh, the old man let go of my hand to lean against the back of the chair. He sighs with relief. It disgusts me. It fucking disgusts me. This buggery. This fucking scum. All the time I have to listen to its pathetic blabber. Complaining all the time. As if I was supposed to believe it's human. That it's me, Zoka. Yeah, right. That's me, Zoka. He suddenly reaches towards me with both hands, almost falling out from the chair. He grabs onto my sleeve. I feel his weight on me. You, lad, you've got your hands and legs, strong arms, I beg you, get rid of that filth from my village. I can't bear to hear that abomination wailing and sobbing. I want to die in peace, fucking hell. <laughs> to die in peace. Listen to me, I thought about it for a long time. I've had a lot of time to think, for fuck's sake. His eyes widen. His pupils are milky white. I can feel them climbing my coat. You need to find the basement. JCX basement. I remember it. It's right next to the tree. The tree is too large, so if you can't reach it from the top, you gotta try for the bottom. Find the basement. And there, surely, you'll find the tree's roots. The bloody thing must have roots. That's where they are. Destroy them! Pull them! Drag them! Twist the fuck out of them! You'll find a way, eh? I know you will. The old man slides down my coat, straight into his destroyed wheelchair. For a moment, he searches for his stone, which he uses to prop himself up against the muddy floor of the barn. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty then. Upon seeing the photo, the cripple cringes with disgust. These ruffians, eh? Sons of a thief. There, there were seven of them. The mother took the four youngest ones when the hunger struck. The other three stayed with the father. They were weak and sickly. One day the father got into his head that they are getting smaller rations because we've written them off. His hands started to tremble. So he went with a group of people to rob us of our food in the night. They broke into the basement. It didn't end well. The cripple goes silent. The lads threw them out of the village. I don't know what happened to them after that. People used to say they wander the woods with the savages looking for their place. He gives me back the photo. I can still hear the cries of that thief all the bloody time. The old man grabs the photograph, feels it, and takes out a small glass object from his pocket and puts it to his eye. The road. The road home. What a load of bollocks. The road to madness is what it is. They're going on about again. The old man leans towards me, scowling. The wheelchair? War took my legs. Then those wankers bur burned my house and made pigs. But it was years after the war. They said it was to fight the disease. So they said. And my Zoka. The disease took her from me. And all I have is this wheelchair. And this land. It used to be different here. First the woods changed. The trees started sprouting up everywhere. We were cut off. Then the water flooded our fields. People went crazy out of hunger. They fought over food. You come across some wheels, two little wheels, so like fix me chair. Maybe you would benefit from it as well. No one lives around here anymore. Everyone is dead. Only sometimes. The man lowers his voice. Sometimes I hear footsteps. They wake me up at night. The sound of bare feet against the floor. And bells, sort of. They come out of nowhere. They move towards the trees. Then come back. They pass me and fall silent. Like a nightmare. Bloody nightmare. Years ago when my eyes were good, people used to pass through here. They would leave their huts and go there where that damn tree grows. They would often leave at night so no one could see them. They went into the deep dark woods and never came back. Some of them say they're going home, but most of them were silent. I don't know. 
The land has changed. The trees have cut us off from the rest of the world. And home, for me, has always been here. Then that monstrous, moaning abomination grew out of the ground. It blocked the passage, and that's that. No one has managed to pass through since then. Maybe people found some other place? Maybe they died in the swamps just like us. Fucking hell. This is sorry, this reminded me of this one, uh, rather grim Game of Thrones fanfiction. Illogical conclusions. Uh, where's a Lord of the Light when you need one? Oh well. Fish! Okay. I don't care. And the tree? They're going the opposite way! Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm here for plunder, not just for a tree. Ooh, I can dig. If I want to, I can leave my friends behind. What the heck is that? Oh, it's just a rock. Is that a... No, nothing. What? If this is all like with the trees and everything, what causes the, all the flooding? Oh, that's pleasant. What the fuck? Ah. Wamper, right? I hardly knew her. Alright then. And I'm gonna get rid of this. Oh. Meh. Homemade shotgun useless after firing a shot. Meh. Antidote. Thieves and scratched out on the floor. Huh. Interesting. It keeps popping up in odd places. Burned cottage. Huh. More fabric for selling, I guess. I don't know. I think the alcohol might be more valuable. But for, to me, I could probably buy alcohol, actually. Ah, I got such limited fucking space. Things I can stack high aren't. I should. I should return. Well, maybe explore a little more and then return. Oh hi. Ow! Fucking kamikaze mushroom man. Mushroom man, take me to the land. I don't know the rest of the words of that. No, no room in it. Ah, that's stupid. Obviously, there would be room when when you take into account that I'd be using a thrag, but yeah. Of course we can't take it into account, stuff like that. That would be, you know, sane. Sensible, even. Oh, I can't about that. Jesus. Price my stamina to please, like, in, like, a second. Because that's because of the, uh, off and all that. Oh, 
that's pleasant. All right, it's time to return. There's definitely some stuff that I can come back here for, a couple of mushrooms and stuff. Punish my, uh, maybe get to the next level quicker, if I care. Anyways. Yeah, I can see him more clearly. What? Don't believe me? What the fuck? Okay. I'm returning. I don't have the inventory space or time. This nonsense. How did I get in here? Um, through here, yeah. Past the spider. Uh, shiny stone. How did I pick up this shiny stone? I thought I didn't have space. Whatever. All right. All right, that. Okay. Go there. All right, nearly. Okay. With all this stuff, okay. Stop off. Next, make this. Double wish I get pump application on. Oh wow! I actually have everything I need for that, including the tubular magazine. Ha ha! Funny that. Right then, and maybe air trap since it worked so well before. What the fuck was that? All right. Oh yeah, and uh, grab planks and nails. More planks. Any more nails? No. Should be enough to do a bit of barricading. Yeah. And wait. Yeah. Can't forget to turn on the generator. I'll be incredibly foolish. Correct. Save. And you know what? I'm gonna turn off these other lamps. I don't know if they actually drain or additional power or anything. Or draw people in or something like that. I don't know. But I might as well. Oh, I should uh, get rid of this lantern so that I'm not drawing people in using it from like from that. I don't know, even know if that's a mechanic, but it might be. Yeah. I can't really. I can barely see out through the windows, which is how I know there's no that I positioned the lamp correctly. All right. That's good. And I'd have to spend a, spend a whole bunch of wood rebuilding this, uh, this fucking wardrobe and dragging the other one in, so I, it, just to block up the windows. That would be annoying. That might not be a bad idea, actually. I wonder... 
how difficult it would be to get in through the windows if they're blocked up with a wardrobe. Probably more useful than blocking up a door. Because they don't do a great job of that. Be very, very quiet. We might just get through this without too much bother. I wonder if you can repair a torch. Hope they don't start trying to hit me through the wall. In fact, you know what? There. That's the chance of that. Wow, this might actually be working. So, yeah, with that lamp covered and the lamp down. Thank you. Ah, crap. Do I have any? No, I don't have any bottles. Alice. Oh, that's powerful. He's tearing through that door, isn't he? All right. Hey there. Ha! Eat shit. Ooh, free odd meat. Can I? Damn, I don't have enough nails. Oh well. Too bad the wardrobe didn't drop any nails, just matchsticks. Which makes sense that I don't match sticks, considering that's. Uh, kind of. Sort of, in a metaphorical way. Who is he attacking? Turning out my door. Some other unrelated door? I don't know. We can just hold out a little bit longer, it'll be too late for them to actually be able to get through the doors in time. Attacking. As long as they don't go for that door, that could be trouble. Right? Ah, crap. Are you scream? They should be running away! Well, whatever. Too late anyways. Sucker. And... Healed to full. Morons. Okay, but scream apparently did absolutely nothing. That's fun. And... Just barely not now. We'll probably be able to get something from the shop to fix that. Yeah, glowing mushroom. Alright. What a day. Alright, just grab that, that, all the nails you have. Still probably won't be enough. Jesus, I'm, I'm strapped for nails. Uh, wire. Yeah. 
Okay, grab that, and then... Some stuff I have to sell. Uh, shiny stone. Fabric, I'm not saying I have enough to even sell all this, but whatever. Oh yeah. Turn off the generator. Chuck and shell, of course. I already have two blue magazine. Uh, all the wood you have. If you know what I mean. Wow, exactly enough for all that. That's fun. Um, anything else that I really care about? I guess I could get more gasoline. Honestly, considering how much gasoline I can get from him for fairly cheap, I really just shouldn't bother getting bringing back cans of gasoline. At all. Hmm. Yeah. Just don't really have much else to. If only he could, he sold pliers. That'd be great. Uh, maybe I'll find some near the holes. I don't know. Maybe I'll fucking... I've been barely using this pistol. I should probably use it more. Um, anything else? Anything else? Anything else? No, not really. Christ, we got so much stuff to sell, but so little to buy. Jesus. Probably should have been... Oh, no. It's not like I've really been massively hoarding, either. Especially with all the stupid purchases I've made. <laughs> I think, at this point, wire is only useful for making lockpicks. That's basically all it's useful for anyway, so it's just like one time needed for an upgrade. Alright. Heh, funny. I don't know. I don't have enough for the double barrel shotgun, but I do have enough for the upgrade to the double barrel shotgun. <laughs> once, I, once I get the flyers. That's... You think. Alright. Fingers crossed, no annoying dream sequences. Ah, new tier, which means new weaknesses. Weak regeneration, healing items will be less effective. Shaky hands, like accuracy will decrease. Well, healing items already seem to way overheal me, so this doesn't seem like much of a downside, aside from slowing down the rate of bandages and such. And this seems terrible, because my accuracy is already shit. So, let's go for this. Alright, in exchange, double damage in melee when close to death. Doesn't sound very useful, honestly. Vitality will increase, that does sound useful. Once a day, if I'll be able to become invisible to enemies if I stay still. In combination with a pistol or shotgun, that sounds really damn useful, but once a day, so... This seems just generally valuable. 
Although it kind of has a negative synergy with weak regeneration, but ah well. <laughs> Let's go. But it seems like the obvious choice. Which means it's probably not the best choice, but ah well. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, crap. What is it this time? Kind of... What is this? A casino? on the hangar. A blue one, a green one, and a red one. Okay. Darkwood. Thank you. By Acid Wizard. Alright. Some kind of fake oven. A flat black top with circles drawn on it. What a peculiar dream. Dirty dishes. Never seen such a huge refrigerator. There's a peculiar smell coming out of it. Alright. A lovely family. Okay then. This okay, this just seems like some kind of meta stuff. In general, I'm not a fan of such measures while making art, but one little bottle of wine to get the creative juices flowing certainly can't harm us. It certainly can. Drawings are terrible, just like mine. Oh man. Not mine, though. You, uh, you should see some of my drawings. They're works of art. In fact, I'll probably put one up to the, uh, right now. Perhaps the latest iteration of the Human in Armor series. What the fuck? I'm sure that means something. And where can I... Okay. Must be the backers or something? Or maybe the people that worked on the game. Yeah. Table made of different colored blocks. A black mate mirror hangs above it? I have no idea what it may be. Okay, where can I find a damn lockpick, though? Uh. Ah. Okay, well that was... Meta and pointless. I didn't even gain anything out of it. Oh well. Well, that's that then. That's day 10. Certainly a lot shorter than day 9, but then every day so far has been. Alright. Next up, I think I'll visit the holes. They seem intriguing. Maybe I'll find some pliers there, if not, maybe the cottage, or probably not in the village. I already found pliers in the village, so it's unlikely there's going to be more. Then, then I can make the, the, the damn shotgun. I mean, I only have like five shots for it, so, yeah, but I'm sure I can find some more and buy some more. And I shouldn't need to use it that often. But, without any further ado, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, 
dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave an nasty comment in the comment section down below. So long, suckers.